Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna do some potting. Repotting, I should say. I have some plants here that need a new vessels. So we're gonna do that today. I'm in my kitchen because it's on and off been raining outside. So I thought we'll just do it indoors. I'm not gonna wear my gloves, but I do have some tools. I think this is for bonsai, but I got these at Target in the dollar spot last year. Now, in here, I took some advice, and instead of rocks in the bottom, I'm using coffee filters to hold the dirt in place. I found some potting soil. This is Scott brand, and then I ordered my miracle Grow indoor potting soil. So I have the two. My plan is to put these little greeneries in one pot this in its own it's not doing good and then these two spiky dealies in one so let's start with this planter here oh and i also have this little tiny one that i can put something in if i so choose all right here we go i love the idea of the rain boots but in reality they're not very good i'm going to dump this over the trash I'm just trying to get the plant out. It's pretty root bound in here. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's not happy. If you can see its roots were pretty bound up in there. So we are going to get it in this pot for now, which gives it much more room to spread its little wings and grow. And I want fresh soil. That is definitely something that I want is fresh soil. Um, because it has, you know, the nutrients. Oh, I have a cup in here. Look at me. Just trying to make it fresh. And then I need to get some more plant food. I ran out. And I love feeding my plants. I get the indoor food. And it does a really good job of making these plants happy that, you know, they're living in, in the doors. All right. And then I'm going to stick them in the sink and give them a pretty good drink of water. And clean their buckets. I was very irritable when I got um, my planting soil in the mail from the Amazon. <laughs> it was, um, here, I'm just going to put this in here and then put it in the bag, in this bag here. Um, the bag of soil was open and that just aggravated me. I feel like these little guys would do pretty good in this little pot. I think that's gonna be the way we're going with this. And this little pot has a plastic um, liner in it. I picked up today, let me get these going over here. I picked up a cactus at the store, I don't even know when. The other day when I was out getting groceries, an aloe vera plant is what I got. And I was so sad to come home and realize that it's poisonous to my cats. And Wellington especially is a known plant eater. He eats all the plants. There we go. Let me see. I have littler clippers around somewhere, but those will work for now. So I just don't think either one of these plants are happy in their environment. So. We are going to get everybody soiled. I want this guy up in here a little better. He was kind of hanging out of the other plant, not real happily. And then they're going to go into the sun in my front window and soak up some vitamin D and then I'll get some plant food. But right now these, this soil is blended for a wide variety. It has, uh, feeds up to six months. 
so that's good and here's our little I know they're not the same plant but I feel like they'll they'll do well together so let's move that and then the last plant are these tree thingies I know they have a name I just don't know what that is if y'all don't know I love plants I just don't know a whole lot about them other than when I come home, I Google what they are and make sure they're not going to harm um, my cats. And then all these pots, I'm going to, the older pots, I'm going to run them through the dishwasher, and sanitize them, and then they'll be ready for other plants that are smaller. Oh. Yeah, this is, I need a bigger pot for this poor thing. It's not going to go well in this little one. Give me one second. I have a bigger pot. Here we go. I think what I might do is stick a couple, I have more than one of these plants, but this thing is severely root bound. So, oh yeah, wait till you see these roots. This poor thing is really root bound in here. So I'm just taking out some of the dirt, try to get them a little cleaned up. So when it goes into the new pot, look at that root. There we go. But I really would like him centered but I don't know that that's going to happen, unfortunately, because they are really um, bound up. Where'd my cup go? Did I throw it away? No. There it is. Um, it's pretty root bound in there. So this will make it very happy. I'm sure of it. And I do this every couple years. This is definitely not something that I do every year for the house plants. Some, but not all. There, that looks much better. He's going to be very happy in here. Now I need to get Sherman and do him. My other, they're different varieties, but they're the same type of plant. Oh, and so my my friend that came and got the aloe vera plant to give it a home, she's like, I'll bring you a hosta. Oh, my perfect. I've always wanted a hosta outside. Hmm. They're also poisonous to cats. So I'll give it to my cousin. They're stopping by later to do a socially distant pickup. Some stuff that I got for them. I'm just trying Ooh, to give this lots of soil. There we go, guys. This is going to be a happy plant. Hi, buddy. All right, let me water these and shift around and I'll bring another one over. Next plant up is Sherman. Sherman is another one of those like dragon type plants. Let me move you up here a little bit. So you can see Sherman and all of his glory. Sherman I've had forever and he seems to be not real happy in this home he's been in this pot for several years so i knew this year was the time to transport transplant him so what we're gonna do let me get him over here to the trash can again because you know it's covid it's raining and i want to get him he is very root bound as well Poor Sherman. Look at his roots at the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of loosen them up just a little bit. Get them in the pot. He's going to be very happy in his new home. And where is my little cup? I guess I'll use this cup. I lost my little plastic cup, guys. Did I throw it away? Maybe. Who knows? I'm a mess trying to plant indoors and make it as neat as possible and then get the soil down into the sides because you don't want to give them extra air all around his root ball. 
I didn't realize how small these bags of soil were that I got from Amazon. But you know what? It's okay. It'll be enough to do the house plants I need. And then I'm going to need to buy a new plant for this little pot. Or I could take my aluminum plant that I got and split it a little bit into this pot here and a little bit into a different pot. Could do that as well. Right now I'm just getting down in here, filling in the sides with some fresh soil. And then before summer, I will definitely fertilize these plants before summer's over. I know this soil has fertilizer in it, but there we go. Let's give it a good push. And we can get him into the front window or the back window. He may sit out back next to the other tree that I need to cut back once I can go outside. So hang on one second. I've decided I'm going to split this into two, a bigger pot and a smaller pot. Um, and that way I can have it upstairs, part of it upstairs in my bedroom when I get my office up and running right like that's a good idea i feel like this is that aluminum plant that the the um tag said it was a philodendron and thank you guys for telling me it's not okay i'm just separating it's a lot of root in here lots of root and i think That'll be good. Let's see. But there's a lot of dirt, too. Let me get some of this dirt out. It's a little bit on the root-bound side um, as well. Now, I did get this at Aldi a couple months ago. So, what we're going to do is take two of the little side plants over there and one, the big one in here. How about that? Woohoo! I'm excited. So I have this little plant here that I'm going to fill with dirt. Oh, guys, my house is a disaster. It's going to take me an hour to clean up this kitchen floor, but it's better than being out in the rain, right? Got the air out of that. I'm going to water this. And this little guy here can come upstairs with me into my office tomorrow because I have a very sunny window up there and then this guy here girl guy I don't know what are they they're plants right I kind of got this weird thing that I like my plants to be centered in the pot you figure it out because I can't and then We'll get our dirt in here. This plot, this plant, it, did, it takes a lot of water, I've noticed. And when it looks, I call it sad. So when it's a little on the droopy side is when I know to water it. But I think with a little bigger pot, this one's going to be happier in the dirt. All right, so that's done. I just got to give them all a good drink. And then after I water them for about a week, I will top their soil off. And I have plenty of leftovers to do that so next up i will show you the full window all right everybody's in a new home i have to leave oh that's the hosta out there i'm hoping my cousin will take home because they're toxic um i have to leave this window if not they will knock the plants over so they get that to lay on and then they get right here so i think these are going to be happy plants that's my mom's christmas cactus it's doing really well. They like to be root bound and they propagate really easy. That little tiny one, I just stuck it in the dirt and it will propagate its very own shoot. Um, here are those little guys. They are back here. That cat belongs to my grandma. He just sits there. And then I have my two aluminum plants. I'll leave them down here until they've settled down a little bit. This plant here was almost dead and I saved it two years ago it likes this window a lot and my other spiky tree which I need to remember 
to rotate those. They grow towards the sun. So he'll grow the right way. And then the other plants. So this is my front window. That's my walkway. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed.